So I'd like to spend a moment talking about the service setup. Now, I'm currently in the regular setup menu, but if you click the gear icon, there's, in addition to the regular setup, a service setup option. Now, this particular menu is a condensed version of setup that has to do with just service-oriented features inside of the service cloud. So in order to access this service setup, you'll need to have service cloud checked on your user account and you can also make this service setup available from apps that you build inside of the app builder. So if I go back to my regular setup menu and go to the app manager and click on that, if you start the process of creating a new application, one of the app one of the options that you see is selecting your setup to either be service setup or regular setup. So if you go into a new Lightning app by clicking the button at the top of the Lightning Experience App Manager to start the process of creating a new Lightning application. And I'll just fill this in as an example. And click Next. It's here that you have your option for the setup experience. And so you could select setup, that's the full set of setup options, and that's more of what you're used to at this point. Or you could just select service setup. Now you can also have the navigation style either be standard or console. And then if it's console, another thing to note is that for a console navigation app in Lightning, it's only supported on desktop. So let me go ahead and finish this out and just click next and I'll just select accounts as the only available thing from this example application and click next. And then just take the defaults here, just going through this quickly and then making this available to the system administrator profile so that we can see this in our own org here. So I've got system administrator for the selected profiles. I'll click save and finish. And so now I've got my example application. So I should be able to find that from the app launcher now by clicking on it. And so it is now this latest app in my app launcher. So I'll click on that. That will launch this console navigation application. And I only have accounts available here from the navigation items. But the thing to note is if I click on setup from inside inside of this console application, then the default that's selected and available is the service setup. Now you can still get to the regular setup as well, but this is the default selection or the top selection whenever you click the gear icon. So clicking that takes you to the service setup menu items. And so you've got the home page here and some of the recommended setup designations such as adding users. And this would add users to your service cloud team. And then there's an option here as well for customizing your case status. And all of these have a get started sort of interface, wizard based interface. So if I click on, for example, customize case status and click get started, you see here that we've got four different status designations, new, working, escalated, and closed. And this column here for the closed status, this is a special status that you select in order to close cases. And you could have multiple status designations that would be closed, like closed, resolved, or closed unsatisfactorily or something like that. You can also change the order that these appear in. And this is just another interface to adjust the status designation of your different case statuses. The intention here is to make this more user friendly than having to hunt through all the different setup settings that you would have to do inside of Object Manager and then changing the um, status fields and changing as well your support processes as well. Now, you can add additional status names here. So for example, I'm going to add a status designation of delayed and click add. And I want to move this up before the closed designation. And then as well, let me do it before escalated actually. So now I've got new working delayed, escalated and closed. Let me give another example of a closed. And so let's give a another closed status. And hopefully I'm spelling that right. I'll say closed unsatisfactorily and I'll check the closed checkbox. That's another option. So I'll click save. So now let's look at our support processes and let's see if that's available from the service setup. So, so it is available from the uh, service setup. So we select support processes. 
we previously set up, at least in this instance, a tier one and tier two support process. And so now we've added a couple more status designations. So if we want to add those to these different support processes, we could click on one of them, such as tier two, and we see that we now have these additional available items such as delayed and closed unsatisfactorily. I'll add those to the escalated and closed as well. And then you notice that the order of these shows accordingly to what we set previously in that wizard base interface. So we've got delayed, escalated, closed, closed, and closed unsatisfactorily. The default is escalated and this is tier two and we'll just keep that the default and then delayed would be an option if we need to delay the resolution of this case. For example, click save and then let me visit the tier one support process and then as well these other status designations. Let's add these as well and move those over and our order is new, working, delayed, escalated, closed, and closed unsatisfactorily. So let's click Save. And then implied in the closed versus closed unsatisfactorily is that the, the one that's just only closed would hint at that this was a closed case that was to the satisfaction of the customer. So now if we go into create a new case, let me go into the service application. And so notice I'm in a different application now. If I click the setup menu, it will have at the top the setup menu rather than service setup. Now if we go into cases and if we create a new case and we have those support processes tied to a record type. Now remember it is the support process that controls the different status designations and then that works in conjunction with different record types. So we'll create a record type of a new case of a tier one case and click next. And now for the status designations for this case, we have the additional two such as delayed and closed unsatisfactorily. So let's just select delayed just for sake of example. Do a case origin of web and let me go ahead and associate this with a contact record such as Stella Pavlova or Pavlova. Click save. And so now we have a new case with the uh, case record type of tier one and we've got the status des designation of delayed. So going back to our other application that we set up as an example, as an example of the service setup menu, I want to revisit the service setup menu and show you a few other things under that. So if we go back to service setup, in the service setup home, we've got options for now that we've done the status designations and this may vary depending on your own instance you may see email set up and this would be where you would go to set up email the case and that is demonstrated in my uh, courses so i'm not going to go into that now but as well some of the other setup features and wizards would be knowledge setup and lightning community setup and omni channel setup now i do go into all of the above inside of my salesforce admin course not in great depth if you want more in-depth information on these different uh, areas such as knowledge and lightning communities and omnichannel I recommend that you investigate my service cloud consultant exam course but it's not necessary to be an expert in these areas in order to pass the admin exam now scrolling down there's also today's performance and this gives you some graphical interface as well for the different cases that have been created and closed by day as well as the current usage for various users and lifetime performance and you see that over time I created a lot of cases originally I think that's when I first created this organization and these are the default number of cases that come inside of a free Salesforce account and then since that time I've only created a handful of cases not done a lot as far as creating cases go you can customize this is the default homepage for the service setup and so a few other features available from the service setup home is this create drop down where you can do other creation processes such as creating new users or adding multiple users at once, creating custom objects, creating custom tabs, creating email templates, and then creating workflow processes as well. Now you will notice that there's some, there's some differences between the service setup home and the regular setup. So you still have the administration and platform tools and automation, but it is a much smaller list. And these are all service oriented. And some of the things you'll get into as it relates to the service cloud and as you dive deeper into the service cloud would be entitlement management, field service, service cloud Einstein, data, etc. Now comparing that, if you remember, if you look at this list here of features inside of service setup and compare that to the full setup, you'll tell pretty quickly that there's a lot more options for the full setup option. 
if I scroll down and look at this. So, and so the service setup menu is something that's helpful and that can be associated with specific applications that you build inside of Salesforce. And it really just depends on if the application you're building is more service oriented. And if it's not, then I'd recommend that you have the full blown setup. And that is typically the setup menu is more for administrators than other types of users. So that is, that is the service setup. And so, so it's an important factor to keep in mind as you start to learn more about Lightning Experience Administration. And this is something that is not available in Salesforce Classic either. So service setup, and it's a set, it is a subset of the full-blown setup menu, and you can add that to applications.